guys and welcome back to another video if you're a new viewer please be sure to subscribe also hit the bell down below to get notified every time i upload a video uh today i'm gonna do a makeup video i know i haven't did this in a while but i just thought it would be fun like i haven't did a video i want to put some content out there so we're gonna do makeup today and hopefully you guys enjoy it if you do please leave a comment down below let me know what your thoughts were if you didn't just keep on scrolling go to the next video if you're new to my channel welcome my name is amanda i hope you stick around and i hope you enjoy everything that i put out there also if you haven't followed me on instagram please do my handle will be right here as well as in the description box let's just get started i think i'm gonna do a simple look i just go with the flow so if i see a color that i like i'm just gonna put it in my eyes even if it doesn't match me luckily i'm wearing black so i can kind of do whatever but yeah let's get right into this video i already prepped and primed my face today i'm gonna be using the can't stop won't stop full coverage foundation excuse my nails i have to get them done but i'm gonna be using this foundation and it's in shade nude oh excuse the mess back there i have um hunter's crate and all that stuff behind me some good things have been happening in my life which i'm so so grateful and happy about um i have been in the process of getting a new job and everything has been going smoothly so far so hopefully it stays that way i'm so excited because it's been a minute if you haven't watched my previous video leave the card up here I did lose my job due to COVID and it has been hard on me, like really, really hard. Um, but you know, like I said in my previous video, I am just taking advantage of the time that I do have till I do get a new job, but it's been hard. It's been hard. Then again, I'm just like so grateful because the time that I did have COVID, I was home you know with my sister and I was able to heal you know the proper way without having to think like oh my god I have to go back to work and all that but you know everything happens for a reason and I'm a strong believer of that so I know God's timing is always right and it just so happened that he had to wait a little longer to get me situated in a job position so every stage of my life I look at the bright side of things and I just take into consideration that everything that I'm going through is for a reason so that's how I look at things and I hope you do too because although it gets hard at times that's just like the best way to go about life I don't know it just gives you a sense of like comfort and just like security I, I can't really explain it but it just makes me feel better knowing that I have faith in God and that everything literally happens the way it happens because of God's timing so yeah enough of that rant but just know that I will be starting a new position very soon and I'm so excited because it's something new for me like like I said in all my videos I always talk about situations that are new to me like it just so happens that everything that I record well most of the things that I record are like new journeys and new experiences for me which is what I like like I want to be more transparent and just be able to tell the world about things that go on in my life and you know not have a filter and not have you know anyone judging me or you know thinking that something is not for me because listen I'm in control of everything I make my decisions and I am a strong believer that whatever it is you want to do you do it and that's it I don't know where I'm going with this but I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from and yeah I'm just I'm happy at this point in life I'm happy 
and I can't wait for what the future holds for me. There's just so much going on and so much that I have planned that I want to document and I put it wasn't really one coat but I just put foundation all over my face I do have some missing areas here that I need to cover up I am gonna apply a little bit more foundation to my neck and yeah that's pretty much it nothing crazy I'm really liking this foundation and not only that but I think I did really good with the color match um I'm proud of myself this is a one you could say a little more than one layer of foundation because I kind of didn't do one pump. I did like multiple pumps like on the brush and then applied it just so that it can go on evenly and like nice. This may seem like a lot to you guys, but this is like a really soft um, layer for me. Like this is very sheer. But I must say, this foundation is a pretty good match and the coverage is like awesome. Like I really like it. I'm really digging it. We applied our foundation. Now I think I'm going to move on to my eyes. Just let that foundation settle in. I'm using the LA Girl Eyeshadow Collection Nude Palette. This palette is, I don't think, any more than $5. Which... For five dollars i mean i know for sure that it's not more than five dollars but look at how pretty this palette is you have your like neutrals and mauvey colors which is my preference i don't really like smoky eyes like black brown um the most that i would do with brown is brown eyeliner which i've been loving lately it's just been i don't know really like nice oh let me I am all over the place. I didn't even prime my freaking eyes. I'm gonna take concealer and I'm just gonna put one little layer of that on my eyelid just to kind of prime my lids so that the pigment could come out a little bit vibrant. Like I said guys, this is a very simple but yet glam look. The only thing about this is that when you dip it in, you do get a lot of fallout, but that's totally normal for most palettes. It's nothing crazy, like just blow that shit out. But I'm going to be taking these two colors and I'm just going to mix them. So I'm going to use that on my crease. The corner of my eyelid and the crease, just working that a little bit. Up. So you're just gonna keep working it. So I do have to work more with shadows because I am not the best. But I think I've been doing pretty good lately. Um, I noticed that the main thing that you have to focus on is just blending. Like if you blend out properly, like everything will kind of fall into place. And just look like very nice. So I'm just like bringing that out a little bit. And just blending. Like I said, blend, blend, blend away. So that's how it's looking. We're just going to keep adding a little bit more. I'm just working that in the eyelid, the eye crease, the corner of the eye. Just keep working and working and working it. 
so that's how it's looking now i am going to take i was going to do a shimmer but i think i'm going to just stick with matte so i'm going to take this white nude color it's not white it's kind of like like a cream <laughs> and i'm just going to apply that on my eyelid Now going back with my other brush that I was blending the corner, I'm just gonna add some on top, just blend a little more. So this is how the eye is looking, very simple, very mauve and just simple, but yeah, glammy. So I'm gonna do the other eye and then I'll come right back. Okay guys, so I'm back with both eyes complete. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my Naked Urban Decay palette in Honey, which is stunning, like this palette is freaking gorgeous. I'm just going to open it and use the brown shade um, called Sting. But I'm going to use this shade right here just to do like a little brown eyeliner on top of the eyeshadow. So this is going to be very, very light and simple, nothing crazy. crazy I'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye and then we can move on to lashes all right so that's how it's looking I'm going to apply my lashes which let me put you guys on real quick I bought these at Dollar Tree and I am so obsessed they're literally a dollar and they're so bomb um, they claim to be 100% handmade as well as vegan, I believe. Let me just make sure. Yeah, cruelty free and vegan. So these are the Ioni 3D Faux Mink Lashes. Um, these are in style Wispy Flare Spiky. I have tried the pink ones, um, the pink with green. So. Let's see how these look. I think they're going to look good with this look. So, I am going to apply these bad boys on and then I'll come right back. So, when I tell you that these lashes are bomb, they're bomb. Okay? Um, I applied the lashes and they were giving me a little hard time. But, it's okay because I got them on. Now, I'm going to do my brows. I do have my eyebrows micro ombre so I really don't have to do much to them but I did not get the um, touch up so I do feel sometimes like they do let off a weird color so first what I like to do is take off any makeup that I might have on it and I'll just take a brow pencil and the one that I'm using now is the elf ultra precise brow pencil and this is in color it does not say but 
this is how it looks and I just like to take it and just fill in the ends of my brow just a little bit just to give it some color and then I like to just lightly 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 go over the front but very very lightly nothing crazy so you can see what I'm doing I'm just like lightly adding strokes and just fixing it up a bit just so that it can look nice and precise moving on to the next brow I'm doing the same thing giving it some color walking through it a little bit so this eyebrow needs a little more help than the other one I noticed if you do decide to do micro ombre brows definitely go for the touch up when you're supposed to I waited obviously because of COVID but for sure for sure um, make sure you do that I am gonna go get a touch up but it just bothers me now and it's not bad like you can see my eyebrows before I apply this um, I don't think my eyebrows are bad at all but I do think that if you have to go for a touch-up just go because it is necessary because there's gonna be some spots that are missing and all that and it's normal so just go for your touch-up for a full glam look that's kind of what I like to do I'm gonna clean them up a little bit so that they don't look so harsh um, but yeah that's pretty much what I do for my brows now I'm going to take my concealer and this little brush to clean up my brows I'm using the NYX HD studio photogenic concealer why can't I talk today and this is in color CW04 beige so I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and just carve out my brows now I do the same for the other brow okay I don't know if I'm the only one that has to like clean as I'm doing dishes as I'm doing my makeup um, it's just a habit of mine that I need to do I don't know why but it's just something that I have to do but anyways I am now moving on to concealer so I am gonna use the same concealer that I used to carve out my brows um, I think this will be a good match to give me some brightness so just gonna apply a little bit hunter just peed so I have to clean it up but it's all right guys this concealer is bomb oh my god I think I'm using oh no I'm not using all drugstore I thought I was my camera's about to die so hopefully the other battery that I have is charged so I'll be right back all right guys my other camera charger is literally about to die too so I'm gonna try to speed it up and just get everything done fast so I blended out my concealer now I'm just gonna take my LA girl pro conceal in the shade toast and I'm just gonna use that um, for contour bronzing up the face all that good stuff all right
and it has been so good to me like I'm so happy
I made it just in time. This is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is my everyday glam. If I want to do more makeup, then this is what I will do. Something simple, nothing crazy, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And by the way, stay tuned for more videos because, like I say, I'm going to keep posting. I know it's been taking some time, but I'm finally getting back on track with my life. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video.